Hello, it's Felonius who's going to Jap again. I have a car. My car is an Opel Astra 70, sorry, 95. Uh, his name is Hoodis. Yes, it's a he. He's got himself his own private parking spot for 95 Swedish crowns and I am so proud of that one. I don't have to battle my way into the common commoner's parking spot. Um, but it's not a garage. When I drive around in plenty of those little villages that are around here, and yes, I call them villages because compared to Chicago, everything around here is a village, and even a tiny one. When I drive around in our villages here around, I see a lot of cars parked outside their garage. And yes, you might think, oh, they can own two cars, one inside and one outside, yeah. But then you see a double garage, and you see two cars standing outside those double garages, and you think, oh, they can afford to have four cars, two inside and two outside. No, they can't. It seems like, uh, at least here around, garages is not something for cars. They are full of junk. Everything that you can't fit inside your house, you have in your garage. Now, normally you could have some sort of shed to put all those stuff in, but you have already filled that shed. That was the first thing you did. The first half of, uh, half of a year when you moved into the house, that's the shed that was getting all the extra stuff that you couldn't use, and all the things that you were given by your mother-in-law and so on. And in Sweden we have something called a friggebod. You can build a rather spacious shed, you can even sleep in, in it, and use that in, without having any permits or anything, and you can fill that no, people don't do that. Not until they have filled their garages. And that made me really wonder, because I am proud of having finally get myself a parking spot without a roof for hoodies, and I would totally, totally love to have a garage. Not being... don't have to scrape off the ice in the morning in winters, and always having a hot, warm, nice comfy car to get inside and all that. <sighs> and those who have garages, they don't use them. Now, my son's mother and his uh, and her uh, husband, they, I usually talk to them and we get inside. And, okay, they are trying to organize, they are trying to move, they are trying to, to get rid of as much stuff as possible. But I see things that I've seen there for 15 years. Yes, they have no, they haven't lived there for 15 years. Now, let's see, 10 years, 10, 11, perhaps. Let's say 10 years, doesn't really matter. And I see things that, those old skis, you're not going skiing anymore soon. Why don't you sell them? I don't really get a good answer. And besides, they are lie lying up at the ceiling, so they are not that... Um, in their way. And they also have a very strange placed garage because in order to get in there you have to do a, some sort of um, handbrake turn very quickly. So they say, well, it's hard to get in there and we will probably scrape our paint off and yeah, that's also an excuse, isn't it? But still, there are some who have their cars inside their garages. And somehow, I don't really know, <laughs> what's the point? I mean, if you have that many things, I mean stuff, things, that you can't even get your car inside your garage, what's the point? I mean, face it, you're not going to get it with you when you die. The, those stuff will still be in the garage while they're putting down you in the down in the 
the dirt. I can't really see the point, actually. But then again, one day, perhaps Hoodies will have a garage here too. But for now, he's got himself a parking spot. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Bye.